and socio-economic status of the weavers. With an objective to offer better wages to the weavers without compromising on manufacturer's margin, the government has introduced input subsidy which is accessible not only by cooperative societies but by all independent weavers, NGOs and master weavers. Under this scheme, the Telangana government has decided to give a price subsidy of 40% on yarn, dyes and chemicals under Cheneta Mitra in addition to the 10% price subsidy offered by the Government of India through National Handloom Development Corporation. Under this scheme, 5% goes to the stakeholder's account and remaining 35% subsidy goes to the weaver's Aadhaar loom-linked bank account through DBT. Welfare of the artisans is a priority for the Government of Telangana. It has provided support to the artisans by increasing the thrift fund from 8 to 16 percent under Nethanaku Cheyuta and opening up the scheme to all weavers, including those outside the cooperative sector. In total, it will be 24 percent of the weaver wages, that is, weavers' contribution will be 8 percent, while the state will contribute 16 percent into the recurring deposit account for the period of three years. TRS government has been able to get the money from the government. The government has been able to get the money from the government. The government has been able to get the money from the government. The government has been able to get the money from the government. The government has been able ये चलंगाना गवर्नमेंट तो कुछ उम चेने तक कार्य मिलो में इधर मंची आधार ना चुपित है ना रखे माय का चेने तक कार्य मिलो कुछ उम इम्प्रूव आए कुन्तो इनका कोटा कोटा रकाल गुरा कोटा कोटा डिज़ाइन चेड़ा निगुरा मावालो मुंडु कोची चेस बना रो। The state government has also announced loan waiver for the outstanding working capital loans of individual weavers. This will come as a huge relief for the smaller independent weavers as they can now concentrate on their work without worrying about the burden of debt. The government has come out with specific welfare schemes which are addressed not just to the weaver in the cooperative fold but also to the individual weaver who is outside the cooperative fold. This is a major paradigm shift, These two major schemes. One is called Nethanna Kucheyuta. This is a thrift scheme. In this thrift scheme, the weaver will contribute 8% of his wages and that is tied with a matching 16% share by the state government. So a total of 24% of the average wages of the weaver is put into a recurring deposit account with a lock-in period of three years. At the end of the three-year period, the weaver can take the entire money and he can utilize it for the social and immediate consumption needs of his family. It could be marriage, it could be a health problem, it could be simply a savings, a bulk savings that the weaver is able to keep for any difficult times. This will go a long way in ensuring that there are no distress suicides and there is no helplessness in the weavers and the weaving community. In addition to this scheme, we are also implementing another scheme called Cheneta Mitra. Under Cheneta Mitra scheme, we are giving a yarn subsidy linked wage compensation to the worker as well as ancillary worker as well as to the weaver. You are aware that NHDC, the National Handloom Development Corporation of the Government of India, is giving a 10% subsidy on the yarn. This is given to the person who indents, either it could be the society, it could be a master weaver, it could even be the government cooperative agency, Tesco. So that 10% subsidy goes to them. To ensure the transparency in implementation of schemes and transfer the benefits directly into the weaver's accounts, the government has conducted door-to-door -door survey of working handlooms and geotag them by assigning unique digital code. 
there are 17,573 working handlooms and financial benefits are being directly transferred to their accounts through online. Marketing plays a crucial role in promoting handloom products. The Telangana State Handloom Weavers Cooperative Society Limited, Tesco, was formed with the mission to provide the weavers a platform to sell their products to the world at large. Tesco also markets the products by enabling brand promotion. It markets the products of the weavers through Tesco Outlet Network and an online store. The Department of Handlooms also invests heavily on design development, value addition and brand promotion to give the weavers their due. In this regard, actress Samantha Akineni has been appointed as the brand ambassador and renowned international fashion designer Prasad Bidappa, fashion consultant, B.B. Russell, UNESCO, and have been roped in to boost the handloom sector and making it much sought after in the global market. What's more, the state government is also encouraging the handloom industry by directing the government departments like police, social welfare, backward class welfare, Gurukulam, Telangana Social Welfare Residential Educational Institutions Society, and Sarva Siksha Abhiyan to purchase their uniforms from Tesco. We have a community of weavers which has been doing this for ages, for generations. In fact, we have lakhs and lakhs of people who belong to the weaving community. We also have a unique government buyback program. So whatever is produced by the handlooms, we also buy back as a government. All the government's procurement in with different line departments, be it for our police uniforms or school uniforms, etc., etc., we procure it from our weavers locally to ensure that their livelihood is also sustained. The Minister for Handlooms and Textiles has personally taken initiative Handloom Mondays and invited celebrities, entrepreneurs, IT and government employees to buy and wear handloom products on every Monday to their workplaces. We are a generation that is very responsive. If told, if told well, if made to understand, we are a generation that wants, is very eager to help and very eager to be part of a movement, of a change, of a revolution. We do not want to be the generation that brings about the death of of handloom, uh, the death of a culture that has been um, existing for the last hundred years. So um, we, I am sure, as a generation together will bring about change, we will embrace our roots and um, uh, I am eagerly looking forward to that change. Uh, please designers, uh, youngsters, and the use uh, handloom warranty, handloom promote journey. And then it's a sad thing that we have to revive it, but we have to, it's a, it's a state uh, that we are in. So please uh, keep, keep using it. I, su I support handloom viewers. I support handloom viewers. I support handlooms. Telangana has a rich tradition of uh, handlooms. In fact, some of the most uh, beautiful uh, fabrics in the country come from Telangana. But uh, on the other hand, despite having so much of richness, so much of uh, exquisiteness, there is also the unfortunate reality that uh, the number of weavers is coming down. About uh, 20 years ago, we had roughly around 40,000 plus weavers in this sector. But now their numbers have come down to as low as 20,000 to 25,000. We are very clear in our mind that uh, more consumption leads to more production. Unless there is a large-scale patronage of uh, our Telangana handlooms, weavers will not be able to produce more. And if they don't produce more, if they don't reach a particular scale, it will be very difficult to improve their livelihoods, give them a better deal, give them better returns. Let us all patronize uh, the handloom weavers. If we want to preserve the richness of uh, our uh, traditions, and uh, let us uh, ensure that more and more handloom stuff goes into our wardrobes, we wear handlooms at least uh, once in a week and in whichever other way possible propagate the beauty and the richness of uh, Telangana handlooms.
the department has also taken measures to restore some of the weaving styles which have vanished over the years. One such initiative has resulted in the revival of the spectacular Pitambari Sari which was once a royal attire of the state in the Armour cluster of Nizamabad district. The handloom industry has indeed come of age in Telangana. Its potential is now being realized through effective government policies and innovative marketing strategies. The hard work of the weavers is now paying off. The masterpieces they weave are now going places. The fabric of Telangana is finally weaving its magic across the world.